We are following breaking news in Savannah this morning. Savannah police are on the scene of a shooting and tell us a Savannah High School student was injured. Our Shea Schrader joins us now on Capitol Street. Uh, Shea, what can you tell us? Tim, yeah, that's exactly right. I am here on Capitol Street, which is just about a block away from Savannah High. And to give you some sense of where this is, it's kind of on the back side of the football stadium, which is to my right. Now, according to the Savannah Police Department, there were four students walking to Savannah High School this morning to attend class when a car pulled up on them and started shooting. One minor was hit and has sustained serious injuries in the shooting. That student was taken to Memorial Hospital, although I am told that though the ear injuries are serious, they are not life threatening. Now, an interesting tidbit of information is that this happened and this crime scene is actually right in front of a fire station here on the backside of Savannah High School. So I have reached out to the police department to see if uh, the student was be, uh, able to be given medical aid any quicker because it did happen near a fire station. I've also confirmed with the Savannah Chatham County Public School System that Savannah High is on a soft lockdown right now as they always are when police activity is in the area. So that means that students in the school are being monitored more closely than they normally would when it comes to moving around in the hallways and changing classes and things of that nature. Now, if you're driving in this area, I can tell you there is a large portion of Capitol Street that is shut down. It runs all the way from Capitol Square apartments on the east side and then down past this fire station that I am situated at right now. I can tell you that there are at least five Savannah police vehicles as well as Savannah Chatham County Public School System Board of Education police vehicles vehicles as they are investigating. There are still markers on the ground. There's crime scene tape up and it doesn't seem like things are going to be clearing out anytime soon. We are working to get more information about this shooting, like if the Savannah Police Department is classifying it as a drive by or if there is any ongoing threat to the public. We will be sure to keep you updated on air and online when we get that information. But for now, Shay Schrader reporting live in Savannah.